love and light. Peace, love and light to you. Love light to you all. Let me fix my lighting. <clears throat> Welcome to my channel. Uh, I am Butterfly Tarot. It is out of Butterfly. And I'm here to bring you a Butterfly's Quickie and Love Tarot Reading for the sign of Taurus. <clears throat> I don't know why my voice is like that. Hold up. Okay. I'm going to be dealing with the energy of the person you're dealing with, your energy, and the mutual energy. So we can come to an understanding how that person feels about you, how you feel about them, what's the mutual energy, and what the outcome will be. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Um, hit the notification button if you are subscribed to me so you can get updates on whenever I release new videos. I appreciate your love and your support. Again, peace, love, and light. Welcome to my channel. Them, this is you. This is how they see you, and this is how you see them. Uh oh, King of Wands in reverse, Magician in the reverse, and the Three of Swords. All right, what is the mutual energy between the two of you, the Taurus, and the person that is their love interest? High Priestess. Six of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> okay. I apologize for my throat. So let's see. Them. This person, they would like to deliver you a love message. They would like to give you an offering of love to communicate how they feel about you. But right now, with the Queen of Swords, they're a little closed off. They may be examining you right now, trying to figure out how to approach you. Um, the Queen of Swords uh, could, can possibly be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And, um, or you could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Alright, uh, with the Six of Pentacles, it's like this person... They would like to give you a love offer, but they're a little guarded because they're afraid that they're not going to get back from the connection, what they put into it, because they feel as though that the situation is imbalanced, okay? Um, or they might see you as that you may be offering cups of love to other people, but I don't see that right now. I see it as that they would like to invest in you, but right now they feel as though that the scales are imbalanced and they're a little guarded right now they're trying to figure out how to approach you they do want to message you and uh, tell you how they feel about you okay now with you you have the king of wands in the reverse maybe that is why they have that six of pentacles in the reverse because the king of wands is a non-committal energy um, he's a passionate fella. He's a little manipulative. And um, sometimes, you know, you get what you get with him. He goes after what he wants. And he's not like a team player. He's not committal. So it looks like that this um, person believes that you will, never, you will never get them what they want. That they will be put more into the connection than what they will be receiving. And now we have, 
I'm sorry. <laughs> what did I just say? Mm. Yeah, that's why they might feel that way about you. But this is how you feel about them. I'm sorry. I can't get used to this. <laughs> Let's flip it, scrub it. <laughs> okay, scratch it. <laughs> Let's do that again. Yes, hold on. All right, this is how you feel about them. That you feel as though that this person is never going to give you what they want. Or what you what you want. I got to get used to it. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to leave the defects in it, okay? It is what it is. You know, get you'll get the message. And, and actually, rules can be vice versa. This could be their side, and that could be your side. You would know better. So, hey, it is what it is. I'm new to this. I'll get it eventually. Okay. So, how you see this person is that they are non-committal, and that they are kind of a trickster. And uh, with that magician card in the reverse, they're a tricky person. Hard to pin down. Hard to figure out, maybe. That because this person, um, I, I don't know, maybe it is that, um, hmm, sorry, with the three of wands, you're waiting on something, you're waiting on things to change or your ships to come in, this is ships to come in, you're waiting for what you put out to come back to you. You feel as though that this person is a tricky person. And they're non-committal and you're waiting for them to make the first move okay you feel like they will not make the first move because they are non-committal now this person would like to make a move on you but this person feels as though that if they try to approach you um, they may not get out of the connection what it is that they want that you wouldn't be willing to put in the same amount of work as they okay so you're both at odds with each other in the way that you see each other. The mutual energy is the high priestess. Um, she who knows. It talks about your intuition. You know, following your intuition. And um, But it also can mean that you both feel as though that you're both very secretive. That there's something that you're keeping to yourselves. And the funny thing is, is that you both have mutual, mutually think about each other all the time. Okay, you may have been with this person a long time, uh, you have some history with them, or they could be somebody from a past life, you know, there are past lives connections, if you believe in that, you know, understand that this is very, it's very possible that you have a soul contract with this person. So, with the high priestess, it may be that you both see each other as, you know, uh, past life experience you know uh, people you acknowledge the connection that you have as a con divine connection and you both would like to put in the work with each other with the eight of Pentacles okay uh, the eight of Pentacles is when you take the time to not just uh, work on a relationship but really pay attention to details so you both are um, tapping into your higher selves and you realize that you do have this Connection also talks about nostalgia, you know, reminiscing and daydreaming about each other, too. And with the High Priestess, that also talks about the dream world. So you're both thinking and dreaming about each other. Only thing is, is that you, bo you both would like to come together to put in work, but this person is fearful. They want to offer their love to you, but they are fearful that if they do that, that something will go wrong in the connection. And you're waiting for this person to come to you, but you feel like they'll never come to you because, you know, they are non-committal energy. So you both are misunderstanding each other, but the truth is that you both mutually care about each other. And you would both like to work on the situation. And you both see each other as being soulmates or possibly twin flames, okay? Alright, I'm going to pull some advice cards. I stumbled a little. It's okay. It's okay. And, you know, I'm used, I gotta get used to this. What we got here oh again alchemy um who else got this uh aries got this so you might be done with an aries all right with that king of wands in reverse you can very well be done with an aries it says your inner light shines when you are at peace with yourself and the world around you let go of the struggles and feel the beauty inside you allow all to be uh, to just be and just be you so that means that you both have to just be yourselves. 
uh, the Queen of Swords is known for wearing a thick mask. And the King of Wands is known for not knowing what he wants. You both got to keep it real with each other. If you would like for the connection to come together, you have to open up and be honest with each other, okay? All right, one more. <clears throat> Blessings. All right, it says, Blessings. You are being showered with the light. Why well, with the light? So I shower with light. Uh, your creativity is being stirred, uh, activated, set alight. An endless stream of rainbow colors stems from your heart. So you both have the same energy that you have with each other. Look at it like this. You see? Has these children, they're just playing and planting flowers and they're in nature. Uh, you're sharp with the light of love. You both have love for each other. You both want to work on a connection, but it will, you know, it will require for you both to be vulnerable with each other and get rid of any misconceptions that you have about each other, okay? This person loves you. They care about you. They want to offer something to you. But you feel so that this person is a player and they're not going to give you what you want. You think they're tricky. But the truth is, is that mutually you both care about each other. And you want to work on a connection, but you're keeping it to yourselves. <clears throat> All right, one more card for a minute. Self-worth. If you both are secure with yourselves, you know, within yourselves, and you know your self-worth, then it is okay for you to be vulnerable, okay? It's okay. You have nothing to prove to this person. They have nothing to prove to you. Just genuinely be who you are. And then uh, come into the connection. All right, Taurus, that is your reading. Peace, love, and light to you. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you'd like to email me, my email address is butterfly, E-Y-E underscore A-M, the number three at yahoo.com. Uh, you can, I would like for you to comment, share, subscribe, and if you subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you will get updates whenever I release new readings, okay? All right, peace, love, and light, peace, and so much love. Thank you.